Well, welcome to another video. <laughs> this one was just a confused old man, not knowing what he was getting into. I, uh, I say in the video a few times as I'm driving that I thought I entered the Sprint series, which, uh, meaning, the, I believe it's the VRS series, uh, GT3 cars. They have an endurance and a sprint. And I just assumed that the sprint was 20 minutes. It's not, it's 40 minutes. I just never noticed. So I was confused why the, the race was 40 minutes long. <laughs> and the other thing was, when I pit, I pit a little bit early to fill up with fuel. And Jim said in the, in the race, as you'll hear, that um, I would have to fill up again when I left and I was confused and then he said something about a pit window so I thought is there a mandatory pit stop in this window turns out it's not it's just the uh, tank is limited to a very small amount of fuel in this series so you have to refuel so that's all that was happening there but hey that's what you get when you jump into a, to a race without really knowing what the rules are and what you're getting into so uh, and a little something else happens in this race so <laughs> not, a, not a good result but a learning experience uh, to say the least and uh, still pretty fun and uh, it's been a bad week for me on iRacing so my my i rating is just absolutely tanked I'm flirting with the 1500s now and at one point if you can believe it or not I was I had reached my goal. I had eclipsed 2,000 for one day. So, <laughs> the um, the IndyCar series has kind of kicked my ass <laughs> this week. Not getting taken out, no accidents, no nothing like that. Just me flying off of Canada Corner on uh, Road America and slamming into the wall, busting off a wheel, and that's a race over, so... Uh, anyways, I'm trying to grind it back a little bit, and I thought, why not try the GT3s? Anyways, hope you enjoy it. Let's get her going. Okay. I know I'm... I shouldn't say I know. It looks clear. There's an incident in Varianti del Retifilio. It looks like Davies. But I'm almost certain my, my pace in GT3s and the Ferrari is far worse far worse in uh, I racing than it is in ACC so we'll see how she goes my I rating has taken an absolute pounding <laughs> this week driving the IndyCar road I just I love it it's my like my absolute favorite thing But I keep taking myself out. So hopefully... I can gain a little bit of it back with this. Although, like I said, my pace isn't very good in the GT3s here. They drive so much differently than ACC, so... Like, I like it. I really, really like it. But I just don't understand how to drive it at the same pace that I can get out of ACC. I'm not going to say I'm fast, but... Okay, off tracks. Get a handle on that. So what do we got? We got a Lambo and an Audi in front of me. I'm not going to have enough fuel. I wonder if I should have looked. I should have looked at the setup. I just assumed there would be enough fuel in the setup to get through 40 minutes. Oops. Maybe there was a mandatory pit here. I don't know. Should have read the rules. 
Yellow flag. Incident in Curva Parabolica. Ah, come on. Oh, I did not see I was door two. Oops. Time for a controversial statement. I prefer the engine sound in iRacing to ACC. It's less overbearing. Like you could listen to this for a long period of time and it doesn't get fatiguing at all. I really like the turbo chirp off throttle here too in this car. Like you can't even hear that in ACC. Anyways, the whole point is, uh, this sounds good to me. It doesn't sound great, but like I said, you can listen to it for hours and not get annoying. Whereas ACC, it sounds great for a little while and then it's just, it's like too much. Anyways try to catch these guys here I am in a race trying to gain I rating and I'm gonna lose more in this than I have okay just in I refueling window will open after 20 minutes it closes after 26 minutes maybe there was a mandatory pit don't know ah come on thing I got to remember about eye racing is are those tire temperatures live there looks like it I think I saw one change there Anyways, when these tires overheat and I racing, my god, is it slippery. Okay, they have changed. I'm pretty sure they've changed. Eighty-eight, eighty-one, ninety, eighty. Two eighty-nine. Okay, good. We're back in the window then, for sure. On your right. Play right. Nice one, Justin. Good pass. Nice front. Good. 
There's an incident in Lesmo 1. You've got half your fuel left. All right. Okay, Justin, 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Some more dirt. There's an incident in Ascari. We think it might be Davies. Yellow flag. Oh no! Right side. Hold your line. Clear right. Where the hell did that guy go? He should be saying thank you, mate. He should be saying fucking sorry. The gap in front is now 1.0. There's an incident in Curve Parabolica. It looks like Cornwell. No way! Maybe, it, maybe I'll pit now. Watch your speed limit in the pits. The pit lane speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. We think we'll need to stop again. 100 meters. 50 meters. We'll need to stop again? Did I, did I screw up? Did I screw up? All clear. Push now. The leader's only 15 seconds behind. I pit there because I figured that would be a good, good way to get the tires to cool off. I needed to pit anyways. Okay, Justin, pit window open. Like, is this a mandatory pit window or what, what's going on here? How can, I, how can I find this out? Where can I see? I have no idea. D20. On your right. Clear right. The leader's pitting now. Incident in Varianti del Retifilio. I think I better pit. I think I have to pit again. That's what you get for not being prepared when you enter. Mind you, I, I thought I entered a 15 minute sprint. 
This is the first one of these I've ever done. Do I risk it? Do I risk a disqualification or do I just jump in? Man. Well, I'm going to do one more lap and consider this. If I'm reading my fuel widget right, I have enough fuel to get to the end. Jim would have known that and he told me that I had to pit again. There's an incident in Varianti Della Roccia. So I believe that means I have to pit. One more lap. Come on, don't make it easy for it. Make it go the long way around. Let's see how the toe is in here. Oh, he's got me. I don't know why he didn't go for it there. There's an incident in Let's my one. Like it's Olsen. On your left, clear left. Ah, oh, bad luck, Justin. Come on, don't let him get away. Okay, I think I'm gonna pit. I don't want to risk it. I knew where I could look to see if I've got a mandatory pit to do or something. Whatever. Let's just go do it. I'm probably wrong, but let's do it. Oh well. 
minus 30 I rating ain't the worst thing in the world. There was a time for one day I was above 2,000. <laughs> I will say I really do like the way the cars, the GT3s feel now compared to uh, how they used to. Did that give me any positions? No. Okay. And the new update makes them feel much better to me. What? What just happened? What? Did I blow up my engine? What? What happened? I'm so confused. Wow, okay. Wow. I never knew I had to do that in eye racing, man. Okay. You can't over rev these things. Yeah, I think that's what's going on here. Did it overheat? Was it? What? If any of you know what happened, let me know. Put it in the comments. Because I'm so confused. I'm so, so confused. I didn't run out of fuel, did I? No, I didn't run out of fuel. I don't know what happened there. I have no clue. Yeah, so that was a bit of a nightmare race. Fun, like I said. Uh, but a little bit of a nightmare. And I thought, what the hell, I might as well throw this up there. Everyone has to go through these learning curves, so what the hell, eh? Uh, now I know. Now I know uh, that this is sprint race, it's 40 minutes, small tank. So, you know, uh, uh, you have to refuel. And then... Whether or not you want to change your tires, take the gamble, get four new ones, or maybe just two or something like that. Uh, play around with it and see how it goes. But uh, I did found out, find out that uh, after looking at the replay, what happened at the end of the race for me there was my throttle pedal just stopped working. I opened up the Thrustmaster app and was the brakes was reading, the clutch was reading, but the throttle wasn't reading. So I unplugged it, the USB, plugged it back in it's working again so I just had a had a hardware failure which sucks but hey, it got me out of that race a little bit early so hey, is it really that bad <laughs> anyways um, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you next time hopefully with a better result